Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called How to Avoid Dating Financial Predators. The world is becoming a very strange place these days as anyone watching the news can tell you. Uh, how can you avoid dating financial predators out there who are just looking to take advantage of you during these very strange times? What kind of person should you be dating? Well, these are all the questions that we're going to try and help you with. Before I begin, I want to, uh, to let you know that I want to encourage you to uh, subscribe, follow, like, and uh, comment on the show. Also, to uh, encourage you to uh, use our sponsor's service. Uh, our sponsor is HollywoodIsCalling.com, and it's a company that allows you to purchase live calls with uh, more than 100 celebrities. Whether you want to get a call for yourself or someone else, you know, the prices are $19.95 and $29.95, and uh, it's a great gift idea, or it's a great treat for yourself. Hollywood is calling.com. Now let's get started. If you're single and you're wondering how you can avoid all the dating predators out there, and you know, they're not just in the major markets like New York, Los Angeles, Miami. They're all over the place now, thanks to media, Everyone is adopting the same predatory business model when it comes to dating. So what should you do? How can you mitigate your dating risks? The first question I have for you is, do you have a dating type? Do you tend to be attracted to the same kinds of people over and over? And do those relationships end? The first thing you need to figure out is, what is your dating type? What are the qualities that have attracted you to your previous dating partners, why did those relationships end, and how can you avoid repeating that cycle over and over and over? Once you figure out what those qualities were, then you have to avoid dating people like that in the future. I know that some people feel they just can't date somebody they're not attracted to, um, but what you have to ask yourself is, is what you're attracted to healthy for you? Is it good for you? Are you constantly chasing money, sex, power, mm -hmm. you know, a certain physical characteristic? You know, do you only date blondes or athletes or bad boys? Do you only date people who like to party? You know, do you like to date wealthy creeps who mistreat you? Are you only attracted to, you know, young gold diggers that you can manipulate? Are you chronically being cheated on? You know, if that's the case, then I've got some really bad news for you. You're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you, but there's a high probability that it's correct. If all your past partners have cheated on you or abused you in some way, then there's a really high probability that deep down inside, there's something about people like that that you are attracted to sexually and that you need emotionally. You're probably unconsciously selecting people like that when they walk into a room because you sense they have those qualities. And by the way, predators like that, when they look at you, they instinctively sense that you need to be treated badly. Anybody can be cheated on once. But if most of your past relationships were cheaters, then you have to, you have to ask yourself some questions. Why are you picking them? What about high-risk people? You know, how many of your past relationships have been with high-risk individuals who engage in, you know, excessive drinking, drugging, infidelity, pathological lying, uh, binge drinking, you know, constant infidelity? You know, what about emotionally abusive individuals who just like to torment you with uh, name-calling or you know, or other bad behavior. If that's the case, then you have to figure out what it is about that that appeals to you and completely disconnect from it. If you're reading a lot of singles ads and, and some of the terminology appears over and over and over in those ads, um, then let us, help, uh, let us help you decipher the language. If you see a lot of predatory language, like uh, an ad that says somebody is looking for for a person who's a little dangerous or a bad boy. Uh, what they're really telling you is they need to be lied to, mistreated, and cheated on. And that is their cycle. That's the cycle they're doomed to keep repeating because they refuse to discipline themselves and to change their 
their decision making. If you see ads like that, ignore them and move on. Keep looking for something healthier. Do you, are you seeing a lot of singles ads uh, for people saying they're looking for a partner who's generous? Well, what they're really telling you is that money is more important to them than anything. And individuals in that category, uh, they can almost never be fulfilled. No matter what you do for them, they're always going to complain and want more move on are you seeing a lot of singles ads with with people uh who incorporate you know inappropriate language in their ads or they um include a lot of adult photos in their ads ignore that immediately are you seeing a lot of people who want to have a conversation and then within a few moments of your first conversation they're immediately offering to send you uh adult pics of themselves don't don't fall for it Tell them you don't want to see the pics and thank them for their time. Number one, they're probably prostitutes trolling for customers. And number two, the pics they send you may include malware designed to infect your computer and steal information. Don't open those pics. Delete them immediately. Predators will often have singles ads with a lot of provocative pics in them. If you see that, that's a huge red flag. They'll want you to, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll give you their phone number or their Instagram, and they'll want you to contact, contact them immediately. A lot of times, these ads, they're not real. They're simply bots designed to get your phone number and, and start spamming you with malware. So be very, very careful. Normal people don't give you their numbers five seconds after they meet, after you, they meet you. Believe me, there's nothing so special or charming about you that convinces average people to just give you their number for no reason at all. So how do you know if someone you've met is a, a, a gold digger or a predator? Well, uh, do their ads say they love to travel? You know, do they start their initial conversations with you by asking, what do you do, where do you live, what do you drive? These are all red flags. When you go out on your first date, do they immediately pick the most expensive meal on the menu? Be careful. How do you know if somebody's a cheater? Well, first of all, most predators are cheaters. And if you're attracted to predators, there's a high likelihood they will cheat. Uh, if that's the case and you're not sure, try and find somebody from their past that you can talk to on social media, or amongst their circle of friends and ask them, you know, is this person faithful? Are they trustworthy? Check their social media pages. Do the other people they associate with on social media, do they seem a little off, a little creepy, a little sleazy? That's a red flag. Another really important thing you should do is to meet the family. Um, does the person you're thinking of dating have all sorts of reasons and excuses for not introducing you to their family? Huge red flag. If you don't get to see the family, that's a problem. What about your family and friends? Do they all hate your new, uh, your new relationship? Do they all instinctively distrust and dislike the individual you're, you're dating or thinking of dating? Watch out. That's an enormous red flag. Why? Because family and friends are usually right. So why is it so hard for people to change uh, the kind of person they're attracted to if those individuals are usually bad for them. Most people date the same kind of person over and over. The, the names and the faces might change, but the, uh, at their core, the individuals are the same. So how do, you, how do you break that bad dating habit? How do you break your tendency to be attracted to, to, to unhealthy people? Well, the only way to do that is with sheer discipline and willpower. You have to ignore how attracted you are to someone. And if people tell you they're bad, just walk away. The only way you're going to find somebody healthy uh, to have a relationship with is if you summon the willpower and force yourself to change the kind of people you're making bad dating choices with. That's it. Willpower. Where does willpower come from? Repetition. Repeat something often enough, over and over and over, and suddenly it doesn't take willpower. It is just natural. That's the key. All willpower comes from repetition. So what kind of people make great partners? Well, 
First, I'll state the obvious. Avoid felons, drug users, criminals, people who drink excessively, or, or people who tell you they used to be a criminal or a drug addict, but they're not anymore. Those are all huge red flags. The person you want to date should have a healthy relationship with their family. They should work hard and conduct themselves with civility and politeness in public. They should also have a great sense of humor. You know, a, a sense of humor is how you get through the tough times. No sense of humor, red flag. Lastly, you have to be able to trust the person that you want to date. If you don't trust them, then there's no foundation there. There's nothing to build on. If you're ignoring that, then you do so at your own peril. Connect with somebody that you immediately trust, that your friends and family trust. That's key. So with that, I will say good luck and uh, thank you for watching and we will see you soon.